All right, so here's our last question of the day. Um, Alag writes, Hey AMC Movie Talk crew, I love the show and I'm addicted. My question is, with the box office failure Pacific Rim, which is my favorite summer movie this year, the chances of a sequel are practically none, like John said, but I was wondering, if the studio drops the rights to Pacific Rim, could another studio pick it up and develop a sequel like they did with the Dumb and Dumber franchise? Thanks, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Um, You know what? Uh, that you actually raise a very interesting point that a lot of people, including myself, haven't really considered. Look, what the, when he's referring to Dumb and Dumber, what he's talking about is that Warner Brothers, they were developing Dumb and Dumber for a long time and trying to get it going, blah, blah, And then ultimately they just dropped it. They said, you know what, forget it. We're, we're dropping the Dumb and Dumber 2 sequel. And then in Swooped Universe, I believe it's Universal, correct me if I'm wrong, Dennis, but in Swooped Universal, say, that's fine, we'll do it. We'll pick it up and we'll do the rights to it. In theory, if a Pacific Rim did not get developed and Warner Brothers wanted to drop the rights to it, I think in theory, uh, a Fox or a Universal or a Disney even, oddly enough, I think Pacific Rim would fit into Disney's wheelhouse very comfortably, could sweep in, pick it up and develop it. But, and this is the huge but, who would want to? <laughs> who would want to step in? It's like... It's like, hey, I bought, I've got this house here, and if you buy it from me, you are guaranteed to lose, you know, $50 million. You want to buy it? No, you don't want to buy it because you'd still have to pay to make the next movie. And if anything, you know, if history is any indication, then, then making another Pacific Rim movie for $200 million is probably going to lose you money. So it's a very interesting question, and I believe the answer is yes. If... Warner Brothers decides not to move forward. And if, I don't know how their particular rights works with this particular movie franchise, but in theory, they drop the rights to them and just let them go or sell them off, another studio could come in and do it. The big problem though is, as I see it, is that it, the question is who would want to? Who would want to come in and pick up a movie that has lost its existing studio almost $100 million? It's not a very attractive car to sell. Dennis, how do you see it? Yeah, I think the big difference is with Dumb and Dumber, you're talking about a very profitable movie. It was something that was very profitable. And so picking it up, you know, and also it doesn't cost that much to make versus something like a Pacific Rim. Uh, it's mostly the star salary in Jim Carrey. And so with Pacific Rim, that's a much bigger gamble where you have to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to maybe get a return. So I don't see any other studio picking up. If someone were to do it, I would see that like maybe legendary with their new deal with a uh, Universal, maybe somehow Great they convince fit. Universal saying, "Look at all these uh, international sales. We're gonna make a lot of money." But even that, the chances are very slim.